if if you have advice for for the uh, for the people and for the e-commerce store owners, um, one of the points that people are asking about is typically their A AOV, their average order value. You said that one of the important elements for you is to increase average order value. What's the easiest ways without making making a whole mess in your store? What would you recommend? Oh, Dev, we should really record another one where I go into the slides. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest way to do so is create bundles and create a couple of cross sets and upsets. So you want to have bundles, right? Because then you can frame them on buying multiple products or buying a variety of products at once, right? And that's going to increase your average order value. Just make sure that you're using the right frame in the ads or on the page in the copywriting. Uh, that makes it like uh, that rationalize, rationalizes why they should uh, buy more at once. Um, then what you can do is um, cross sets, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Recommended, frequently bought together, something like that on the product page. As soon as they put the product in the cart, have a small pop up saying, let's say you sell uh, skincare, right? They just mm -hmm. put the face mask in the cart. You have a pop up that's coming up, and then you future paste them and say, Hey, darling, you should, um, your skin will thank you for this complete routine. And then you say, step two, buy this skincare, step three, buy this renewing serum, right? Mm -hmm. And like, we make the upsell or cross sell like uh, beautiful for them. Yeah. We rationalize it for them. We make it logical to buy this. And we future paste them and say, you are going to get even better results if you buy all three of these products and then use this one first, then this one, then this one. So it's not like <laughs> yeah. we just bombard them with the same product and say buy the same product 50% off because they've seen this a hundred of times. But we future paste them and we explain to them why they need these three products at once. And then it's like much more likely that they actually go to um, buy it. And then a really, really good way to um, increase the average order value too is... In the checkout process, after they've bought, after they've clicked uh, with their credit card details or uh, clicked on buying, have an additional page where you say your order is confirmed, one-time offer, um, this beauty set, right? If you're selling skincare. Because here's the thing, from the psychological perspective, as soon as your prospect turns into a customer, they have a huge dopamine rush, a huge dopamine rush. <laughs> they are completely high at that stage, mm -hmm. right? And the, the likeliness that they are going to like take this upsell or downsell offer is the highest at that point, just because they have so much dopamine in the system and they are like they are so happy at that point, right? So that's like the perfect stage to uh, show them an upsell or downsell, like this one-time offer. Okay, okay. And... Um... Many people, especially when they're not still making that much money from their e-commerce stores, um, very often they are asking me, how do I win trust in, uh, in the website? And not just buy fake reviews from Trustpilot, <laughs> not just buy <laughs> five stars from 350,000 users that have never existed. Like none of the, yeah, of the absolute bullshit ways of like just... Um, yeah, faking it. Like, how do you win in a genuine way trust? Because you lost psychology. You you know better how to do that uh, with customers that have no idea what that brand is all about. They just yeah. clicked on a very nice creative. Yeah, really great question. Because trust is like the main currency on the website. For the ads, the main currency is attention. And then on the website, we want to build trust. So uh, yeah. thank you so much for asking. <laughs> um, basically, there are a couple of factors that play into trust or that will build trust. First of all, it's like the, the UX, UI and the brand experience. Because if you invest into a more uh, like branded store, right? And you go away from these like uh, basic dropshipping themes and it looks really unique then you instantly have more trust just because it feels more like a brand, right? It's a lot about how they feel. Uh, it's a lot about their emotions. So it feels more like a real brand. Secondly, you have all of these different factors that I will take you through now. First of all, uh, you want to establish authority. You can establish authority by using authority persons. For example, a doctor, if you're selling skincare supplements, 
for example, a fitness influencer, if you're selling a weight loss program, for example, um, a beauty influencer, a fashion influencer, if you're selling fashion, right? Uh, so you can go through all of that. You can also establish authority by utilizing big brands, payment providers, logistics providers, PR, uh, or whatsoever um, of well-known companies and logos. Because what happens in the uh, brain of the prospect is that they put these brands in relation with your brand and they already trust those brands. So yeah. like the trust basically transfers to you, right? Because they trust Vogue, they trust uh, this influencer, they, tr they watch this TV channel every single day. Um, and then they also uh, read this magazine every single day, right? Mm -hmm. And they've built trust with those over years. And if you as a brand show their favorite influencer, show their favorite TV show, their favorite magazine, and then all of these reviews, like you're going to have so much more trust. Um, I brief briefly uh, spoke about reviews. Um, you shouldn't fake them. You shouldn't take them from AliExpress. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't just like copy and paste them. People get, uh, I'm missing the English word, but uh, people get used to seeing that. People can nowadays tell what's fake and what's real. Yeah. Um, for They've been bombarded for six, seven years with drop shipping now. They, they got used to it. They can ins uh, like uh, instinctively say if it's like drop shipping or if it's like trustworthy, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're using reviews, you want to make sure that you uh, have a beautiful reviews widget where you have the image, where you have something like a badge that's saying verified customer, where mm -hmm. you maybe even add their Instagram account, uh, where you tell the name, maybe even the state or location that they bought from, and just like make the whole experience really trustworthy. Mm -hmm. 